What's going on guys, Pack Daddy here, bringing you the sixth episode in the Ultimate Wheel series. In the last episode, we were able to pick up an Adam Graves 94 overall, now the highest rated player on our team, and Doug Gilmore is absolutely destroying the leaderboards right now, so somebody's got to catch him. Right now, we have a really, really good team. I'm feeling pretty confident that we're going to be able to make it all the way to the end, win that Division 1 title, but we never know what's going to happen, so without further ado, we're going to spin the Ultimate Wheel. We've gotten pretty good luck so far only gotten one bankrupt so here we go we're looking for I would say some more packs in this one so let's go and spin it right now something good we need the luck on our side right here come on don't land on that bankrupt and wow three special packs again that's the second episode in a row we've gotten special packs I'm not against it we our luck is definitely uh, turning around since we Threw away that 50,000 pucks in the bankrupt, and we got we got some special packs. Didn't really get too much of the special packs last episode. Uh, well, we got a few good players, but nothing, no superstars. So hopefully our luck will change this time, and let's get something fantastic. The special cards out right now are pretty awesome. A lot of good milestones out right now. And we got three ultra packs. That's the special pack that's on the market right now. We got three of them. We're ripping into this first one right here. And hopefully we're going to get somebody good. We're just going to knock through this entire pack. Blast rip. Oh, these rares are awful. Come on. We're looking for something more. By the way, Tokarski was the first Season 2 player. Nobody said that on the Twitter giveaway. So... Unfortunately, the Cam Atkinson All-Star Game card still is mine. Nothing so far going through this pack. That was awful. Come on. <laughs> this is ridiculous. An Ultra Pack. An Ultra Pack. Yeah, we got nothing in it. Think Jack Johnson was the best card. Let's get rid of that one. We got two more to go. Ultra Pack. Seven rare players. I haven't seen a special card since I've started doing this, I'm pretty sure. Have we gotten... I don't think we've gotten a team of the week. Dylan Larkin is a pretty good card. Maybe we'll find a place for him in our roster. We got Justin Ablocator, so we got some Detroit guys. Adam Larson, Miku Koivu, those are some pretty good cards. Maybe we'll find a place for them on our team, but nothing too fancy in these packs so far. But I'm holding out for that last ultra pack. I mean, I know there's something good waiting in there for us. We got a good team, and they want to build our team. No special cards in this one. Quick sell value is just the same as the other ones. Got regular Jack Johnson. We got Niskanen in that one. Chris Kreider would have been excited about that card last year when I was, if I was doing the series last year. But man, those suck. Anywho, let's get to building our team out. So real quick, here's why I'm not going to be changing this roster before the next game because I have a Lark in there, and he would fit with that Bodker. But if I'm going to break that synergy. For speedsters, I really want to do it in style, not something that simple, but let's get into the first game. Okay, we got Taves bringing it out of the zone, Hall bringing it out, passing it back to Taves right there, trying to put a body on him, he's going to curl around to the point, our guys are out of position, crap, I saw that one coming a mile away, he just curled around, all my defensemen bit on him, including myself, and he got the better of me and sniped that one corner, that's the first shot of the game and quick is letting in hundred percent as it going right now he has a pretty good first line I don't know if his other lines are gonna be like this but hopefully we have a battle in store for us and we finally get a good game out of this one okay gonna try and draw this face off straight back to our guy we're gonna win it he's applying the pressure so we're just gonna curl around throw it up to Statsny right there we're gonna pump the brakes right as we come in there feed it back to the guy coming down one timer oh my gosh what a beautiful goal Whew. That was sexy. That was a sexy goal right there. Our team is playing well. We are meshing well. I'm liking where this is headed. And this is just your period update that Quick has let in every single shot that's been attempted on net. Okay, back up on this net. Line them up. Boom. <laughs> oh my god, they're dead. All of them. Behind the net. Alright, we're going to throw it up right there. Barzal. Bury it, Barzal. Bury that puck. There we go, that's a 2-1 to one lead right there. His goalie is playing out of his mind right now, and he's keeping him in it, but this is a 2-1 game. We finally got the go-ahead goal. Okay, coming out of the zone. There's that seamless puck pickup. Oh no, for both of us! Oh, come on, get him! Oh, wow, that was a goal-saving poke check right there at the end of the second period. And just in time for a reminder that Jonathan Quick has let in every single shot that has come his way. Absolutely wonderful. 
I'm right now passing it up to Statsny. We got the two on one right here. We're gonna try and squeeze that one in there. Ooh, the loose puck and Statsny pokes it home. The goalie was fed all the way over to the guy with the one time. Left that blank puck sitting right there in the crease for an easy tap in. We're up three to one. I am not liking this pressure coming in the zone. Try and block this pack right here. He's wide open. Quick, that is two for two. My goalie is Swiss cheese right now. He is doing absolutely nothing for the team. He has literally made zero saves and he's had two shots on goal. Can I get a picture of Jonathan Quick? There we go. Okay, we really need a high flying offense now that we have absolutely no goalie in net. Fortunately, we got Adam Graves taking the puck down right here. I'm gonna try and get that one. What a snipe, oh my lord. He had 0.1 degree angle that he could have shot that from for it to go in. And he, it looks like our guy has had enough. The Columbus Dads was the guy's team name. He went two for two on shots. He was shooting 100%, not sure why he's mad. Look at these shots. Look at the save percentage. Do you notice something similar between my starter and my backup right here? They both made the same amount of saves. Their save percentage is the exact same. That is ridiculous. There's always something that Quick's going to do in an episode, and I can count on him for it. At least he has comedic relief. But since we did win with a did not finish, we get three gold plus packs. We're picking up these series two expansion packs, looking for some good cards in this one. Two rares, Abdul Kader and Kunitz. Crap. Second pack right here. Losing faith in these packs. We've opened so many of these. Nothing. We got Mike Green right there and Tyler Byers. Okay, I think I can work with that. Tyler Byers is a huge body defensive guy. Okay, so I'm all right with that one. We got one more pack to go. Finishing off this one strong. Can we do it? We got Chris Russell in the first one. No. Okay, so before we get into the next spin, I want to show you guys what I'm doing. Roman Yossi was on the wrong-handed side somehow. So we're going to flip him over to replace where Nicholas Cronwell was, and then we're going to replace Tyler Myers with Cronwell. Myers is just a bigger guy, has a really good stick for poke checking, and as you can see here in the background, I realized I had a bunch of rares, so I went ahead, looked to see what they were selling for, and went ahead and threw them on the auction house, and I had a lot of them. So we're going to bring in a lot of coins, hopefully for this next spin, we'll get something good. But that'll do it for the first game, so let's get into this second spin, and look at all that money coming in. Okay, here we go with the second spin of the Ultimate Wheel. The first spin was a major success, major, major success, and as you can see, we have about 78,000 pucks at our disposal right now. Maybe waiting for a few others on the auction house to get things going. Hopefully add a little bit more coinage to that. But right now, we're just looking for something not a bankrupt right now. Maybe a buy team of the week. Let's get to spinning this puppy right now. Hopefully we can waste all of our coins on not a bankrupt. It looks like we're going to stray away from that one to pick any player, which is wonderful. I already know who I got my sight set on. And if you guys don't know it, just know my fan base and know who their best player is and who they've been without for most of the season. So I'm very, very excited to get him on the team. If you guys are not sure who I'm talking about, follow me to the collections and we're going to go search for him on the auction house. I don't even have to look through the auction house to find him. I know who we're getting. You guys hopefully know who we're getting. Let's go buy him. All right, here we are at the Tampa Bay Lightning spot of the My Collection page, and we're just going to start looking through here. I find that there might be a player in here that I might want to acquire. Check it out. He's so good. He has two season two cards. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there, but we're going to be picking up a Stephen Stamkos. Hopefully, we can buy him with these 81,000 pucks that we have acquired right now, basically through selling all the gold rares we had in the last episode through those two, those three jumbo player packs. And it looks like we are going to be a couple thousand short. 85,000 is the asking price of the cheapest Stamkos that is up. So real quick, we're going to go and try and sell off some more of these, maybe like contracts or whoa, how much did we get? <laughs> okay, 349 to spare. The hockey gods have answered my prayer and we're immediately going to back to the auction house. Hopefully nobody bought that guy because then I'd be very upset. So let's see if he's still there. Okay, 85,000. We're still good. Don't be sure you got to check the rest of the auctions. Make sure you're getting the right one. Okay, let's get to the right one. 85,000 coins. Here we go. Welcome to the team, Mr. Stamkos. Let's see at the build. 
So it is finally time to replace that Michael Bodker, Mikhail Bodker right there with that Steven Stamkos. I think that is worthy of breaking up that speedster. And I'm going to go ahead and throw him on the second line with Gilmore and Graves because if that line starts off, I, I bet you 90% of people would go ahead and back out. You can just see me right here switching around some of the lines on the power play and the PK. But our team is looking stronger and stronger. Each spin of the wheel it is unbelievable the luck we are getting in this one. So I'm very, very excited for this one. And let's hop into the second game. Okay, we're here at the Joe. Recently, Mr. I passed away. And as a Detroit fan growing up, very prominent figure, very big guy in the hockey scene. I feel like we should give him a quick moment of silence for what he did to the sport. All right, bring it out. Line him up. <laughs> oh, my gosh. They got destroyed. Holy cow. They went end over end. I can't believe it. Paul Statsny right there. Just lure him away. We're doing the spin move without actually hitting the spin. Deke on this one. And Martin Jones going full pretzel in the crease. Doesn't know what to do. Paul Statsny's burying this one early in the first period. We got the go-ahead goal. Hopefully, we can seal this one up. We're going to pass it back. Rip it, Carlson. <laughs> what was that? All right, we're going to win the faceoff right here. Try and block this shot right here. He's going to get the shot away. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> that was a pretty weird-ass shot. So we're going to start off the second period with our second line, the best line right here. Stamkos is going to take the puck off the draw. He's hunting for his first point right now. He's going to slow play his way around the D, find that lane right there, book it through. Gosh, having Stamkos is just so money all the time. His speed, acceleration, and shot are just unparalleled in this game. You guys got to pick him up, and he's giving us the 2 to nothing advantage. All right, here we go. Barzil. Oh, my God. Computer AI out of absolutely nowhere. Barzil's going to take it down. He's fast as hell, and he's going to lose the puck. We're going to go fight for it in the corner right here. Can't get it. Try the poke check. It is successful. Throw it back up. Up to the top. Almost tried to get that 1-2. That was a dumb play. Fortunately, we're there with the defensive coverage. Yossi, take it down. Dangle around this defensive guy right there. Lost the puck. Throw it back up through him. A little bit of magic. My God. What a tuck right there by Roman Yossi. These defensemen on this team are an absolute blessing. I love it so much. And Martin Jones is beside himself right now because there was no way he saw that one coming. Okay, we got Seth Jones coming down the right side. Tried to pump the brakes. Surprised I didn't see skid marks right there. We got Joe Thornton with a good body check down low. Wrap it around behind the net and find the open man right there. Wow, I can't believe he found that one. That was a tight angle. Martin Jones should have just stuck his stick right out and blocked that cross crease like a normal goalie would, but I'm not complaining. Things are looking up in Division 9 here in the fourth game. Okay, he's doing a good job of staying with his man. He gets the puck off of a rebound. Ekblad's going to come down, split the D, and oh, he's going to fail on the breakaway right there. We're going to throw it back over to Jones. Jones get the one-timer. I thought that one was in. That trickled out. Throws it back out in front of us, and wow, Jones turns like sideways, and it looks like he might be quitting with the 5 to nothing final score. That is so, so. We get three more gold plus packs to open. Let's get straight to those. Okay, so here we are. We're all smiles opening these packs right here, trying to fake out the hut guard gods into giving me good cards when I'm expecting absolute trash in these ones because that's pretty much what I've gotten in the past and the first rare is going to be a Ginla. This second rare is trash. All right, optimism is key here in this one. So we're going to we're going to have just a big old friendly smile on this one. Cogliano is our first rare right here. De La Rose, Colin Wilson, these guys are all trash. These packs are supposed to be a bonus for the did not finish for us playing well and it's just ending up making me broke. <laughs> Come on, give me something good in these cards. Oh, come on. Seriously, hopefully Joel Ward. Yeah, that Tampa Bay Lightning is like pr the coolest thing we've gotten in any of these packs. So I guess that's a plus. Well, that is going to do it for this episode of The Ultimate Wheel. This was episode 6. If you guys did enjoy the video, please drop a like on the video. It does help the channel and the series grow overall, which I know you guys 
enjoy because you guys tell me every single day and I'm very happy to hear that. But if you guys did enjoy the video, please also subscribe to the channel if you have not done so yet so you will not miss another episode of this. And get in the comments section and let me know what you think, what buy suggestions are. I know I said I'll have a new wheel coming soon. It just takes a heck of a lot of time and effort to make that thing. I gotta go to all the hardware stores and figure out how the heck to do this. But I have a blueprint set up, and when I say blueprint, I mean pencils and pens on a napkin of an idea that I came up in my head at like 2 in the morning. So hopefully I can act on that one and get you guys an absolutely fresh wheel to uh, blast through the rest of these divisions with. But that is going to do it for this episode. I'm having a lot of fun with the series. I'm glad you guys are as well. Please drop a like on the video if you could. It really does help out the channel. And we'll see you on Sunday for the next episode of the Ultimate Wheel. That's right, it's coming in two days. So be, guys, be sure you tune in for that one and see if we can continue this hot streak we got going right now. Three did not finish wins, but that's going to do it for the video, guys. Hope you guys have a good weekend. This is Pack Daddy. I'm out.